What is up everyone? I am Nux Pro and this is part seven of the fifty plus round solo strategy on the map they call Ascension. And we are on round number thirty. Yay. And uh as I said in the previous parts, this may not be the only solo strategy out there. This might not be the best strategy in your opinion, but it is a strategy that I found effective. It even made getting to higher rounds quicker. So, for me, I find this the most effective way to play this map on solo. And at this point, level 30, we have everything we need to have to be successful. We have our ray gun upgraded, we have our thunder gun which will be upgraded at by the end of this video. We have claymores which are pretty much ineffective at this point unless you're using them as using them as uh, uh, like warning signs for the monkeys we the only thing we need weapon wise is skirsh devices but we have not got them yet so we are lacking in that category Perks, the only ones you should concern yourself are with are Quick Revive and Juggernaut, uh, obviously. And uh, the only other one I would suggest is Stamina, because when you have to hit the gap in this uh, walkthrough, you need to be quick, and Stamina up gives you that extra edge. PhD Flopper is pretty much worthless, and uh, Speed Cola though it's not it wouldn't hurt you or you know it wouldn't be bad having it it's not necessary and I think if I was going balls hard to try to go to some ridiculous round where you know time wasn't an issue I would probably run with the speed cola also just because if I keep going I'm eventually just gonna rack up so many points uh, it's not even gonna matter <laughs> I mean I, and I'm saying that in re in respects to the monkeys because you know if you have four perk slots you're gonna lose at least one of them so that's what I mean. If like the monkey took it away, I would be able to just buy it again. It would be a big deal. But I think for time's sake, you know, just protecting the juggernaut and quick revive is so much easier. And at this point, the strategy is pretty much shown. I already I showed you how to get to the pack a punch. You know, shoot the rocket off, blow up the rocket. Um. All the lunar landers, every part of the map. Uh, what's the other thing? The uh, the song I play the song for you guys. So you know it's pretty much over now. It's just on to how long do I really want to keep playing this game? And <laughs> you're gonna see my ultimate demise wasn't really a mistake. It was pretty much just I really didn't want to play anymore. And I, I can't say 100% like I was not trying at the end, because that'd be a lie. I mean, there was a part of me that wanted to keep going, but... You know, I was just doing stupid things at the end, being really careless, and that led to my ultimate end. So... We're at level 30, I'm going to upgrade the Thunder Gun. Uh, once you get to level... <coughs> 30, you're gonna start to see the zombies are gonna be tougher to take down. And you know, you really don't need your guns upgraded to like level minimum level 30, but 35, you're really gonna start feeling the effects. And plus, uh, you're getting a lot more waves 
of zombies, so ammo becomes even more precious than just the extra thunder gun clips and ray gun clips are going to help you out a lot. And here I am upgrading the thunder gun into the uh, Zeus cannon. bursting forth from its cocoon. And I, I want to say, actually, I don't want to say that. I was just gonna say, I feel like Ascension was way too easy. I feel like it was kind of a letdown. But in its defense, I've only played solo. I have uh, uh, like 30, like 20 something friends on the Xbox, and like I'm maxed out on the PS3. I'm a mainly main PS3 player, and I haven't played with anybody on the Xbox, so maybe this would be more fun to play with people. Um, I mean, Zombies, it's one of those games where you want to play with friends, it makes it... makes it the most fun just playing with friends. But you can see a lot of my tactics could apply to a, a multiple player strategy. Just with some refined... Oh my god. Oh, the box is back here with some refined uh, movements and stuff like that. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I mean, are you sick of this? Are you sick of watching me going around in circles? You know, if you're not, just give me a thumbs up. That'd be cool. Because I feel like I feel like I was getting a lot of views when I first started posting stuff, and now everyone just sees what I'm doing. It's kind of just like, yeah. Okay. But I do appreciate the likes I'm getting and the views I'm getting. You know, it makes it all worth it. You know, one second to press a button for however long it took me to play this game or play any game that I put up for that matter. Plus the time it takes to edit it, you know, it makes it all worthwhile. And here we are on the monkey round. Uh, the first time I go down it is a monkey round. I'm not, I don't remember because I don't, you know, the first time I'm really watching these is when I'm recording over them, but I don't know how, I had a ray gun and like, this stupid monkey got downed me. I don't know if it was the splash damage from the ray gun, so I didn't see the, uh, the monkey, but, and I had Juggernaut, I don't, when I see it, maybe it'll make more sense, but I don't know how. That's the first time I went down, and when that happened, I was kind of like, eh. taking revive. I was kind of over it. I was kind of done playing. You know, not that. I'm not gonna blame uh, my ultimate end on that, but you know, the will to continue is kind of, you know, it's like I figured the game out. There was like nothing left to really do, so. My try-hard pants weren't really on. So, <coughs> it's not completely impossible to uh, defend three perks. As you see, like I was really close to getting that monkey. And you throw a speed coal in the mix, which on a whole other side of the map. Kind of. You, know, you could see how that could be a pain. And you know, if I was like... I've said before, if I was going 100%, you know, a million dollars for me to get to level 100 or something, then, uh, I would definitely have Speed Cola, because mm, once you keep playing, points aren't going to be an issue. And, you know, the bad thing about this game, you know, it's fine, but, uh, I did say we were going to have so many points we wouldn't know what to do with them, and we kind of been not having that much points and that's just due to the fact that the first two guns I got were the ray gun and thunder gun usually I'll get like a commando or something or a FMOS or an AUG or a Spectre and if you go back to my part one or two videos you see that I say just use something that shoots because at that time you're just building 
and you know each bullet's plus ten or whatever. And, you know the ray gun's like a one shot, one kill. So that's why we didn't accumulate as much points as we, I think we could have in the beginning. And you can use an assault rifle to like level fifteen because the zombies are weak as hell. But I had a ray gun. I was basically one shot blasting them all. And the second gun I get is the thunder gun. So it made my life a lot easier. I kind of wish just for the sake of showing the people watching that I didn't get through the ray gun and thunder gun right away. Because I already, the first time I played, not the first time, this, this is the third time, the second time I played I got to level 53 or something. And it was done very sloppily. And I had the HK for a real long time. And the HK, man, when those zombies were in the group and I'm just fucking, excuse the language, if I'm just spraying bullets, man, you just rack up points and then it's all just sitting at the box and waiting to get your guns. So I do appreciate the views we're getting and the uh, subscribes and the likes, it's pretty awesome. Remember, we just don't do zombies, we have plenty of gameplays. Uh, this channel is run by me and my little brother. My little brother is the self-proclaimed best 14-year-old Call of Duty on YouTube. And with his 3.06 KD, you can't really... I mean, I don't know any 14-year-old on YouTube that has a better KD than he does. Not saying that there's not one out there, but... Uh, I, I believe he might have a point. You know, most of the big head honchos we know have uh, pretty high KDs are older. You know, a lot older than 14. But it is what it is. He has. We have plenty of videos of him. We have that 200 and whatever kill game on Newtown. Uh, we're waiting to put up a 200 and. 23 kill game on firing range, multiple hundred plus point games. So check out our channel for that. Keep subscribing, we're almost at 2,000. At 2,000, we'll have open lobby number two. We have a video of uh, open lobby one highlight, so check that out. And look out, me and Baseball are going to be doing a sniper pistol only zombie game on Kino. That's gonna be epic as shit. Excuse the language again. I usually don't swear when I'm doing these ever, so I apologize. So I usually don't. But I've been talking for 13 minutes and I can't re-record, so... It's just words. Words can't hurt you. So, thank you for watching. If you like, please throw a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. But I'm Next Pro, and I'll see you guys in party.